and a very warm welcome. I am Ruchi Sharma. Bitcoin reached a new high for 2023 at $35,717, boosted by an improvement in investment risk appetite as market increasingly expect the Federal Reserve is nearing an end to up interest rate further in its battle against inflation. The largest cryptocurrency by market value, Bitcoin touched a 17-month high, scaling over 3% as traders continued to buy on a less hawkish tone than the market was expecting from the Federal Reserve. The total value of the crypto market rose over 2.75% at $1.3 trillion. IC15 index of top 15 cryptocurrencies was trading 43,756 points, up 3.1%. BTC was up 3% to trade at 35,300 dollars. Ether, the second largest cryptocurrency, was up by 2% to trade at 1833 dollars. BTC achieved the highest level since May 2022, two days after it celebrated its 15th white paper anniversary, benefiting greatly from market expectations that a BTC spot ETF will soon be approved in the US markets. Applications from Grayscale, Arc Ventures, and most notably, world's number one asset manager BlackRock Incorporation are under consideration by the Securities and Exchange Commission. The SEC said last week it will not appeal a court ruling overturning the agency's initial rejection of Grayscale Investments application to create a spot ETF for Bitcoin. On November 1, 2023, MicroStrategy, the business intelligence firm, announced its third quarter 2023 financial report showing an impressive paper gain of $900 million on a substantial holding of 158,400 Bitcoins. Ether, the second largest crypto by market cap, was up by 2.2%. BNB was up by 3% to trade at $231.37. Solana SOL was up 10.23% and was trading at $43.63. However, Solana's SOL was continued its uptrend, clocking a 15% surge to its 14-month high of $46, recouping all the losses that since the collapse of Sam Bankman frieds crypto exchange empire FTX. Cardano's ADA token was up by 8% to trade at $0.31. Avalanche AWAX was trading at $12.03, up by 7.9%. Polygon Matic was trading up by 6.63% to trade at $0.6728. Doge the popular meme coin was trading up by 4.91% at $0.07. Shiba Inu was trading up by 4.31%. Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.6162, up by 2.36%. Polkadot was up by 8.37% to trade at $4.73. That's all in CoinMonitor for now. This is me, Ruchi Sharma, signing off. Do like, share, and subscribe to 3.TV. And for more information and stories, log on to our website www.3worldtv.io or scan the QR code. Auto TV stay connected with the world of blockchain. Stay up to date with infinite world of NFTs. Come explore and evolve with 3 Auto TV in the metaverse. So many coins, so much volatility. 3 Auto TV delivers the news that matters. Binance, the world's largest crypto exchange, has launched a new batch of dual investment products with updated target prices and settlement dates. Users can sell high or buy crypto at low prices with updated target prices and settlement dates. The product include Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Solana, Polygon, Cardano and Dogecoin. Users can also sell ETH for BTC, BNB for BTC or ETH, BTC for high rewards in the future. Additionally, users can deposit BTC for buying ETH or BNB, ETH for BNB and USDT and BUSD for buying similar crypto. To subscribe, crypto, uh, customers can enable or disable the dual investment auto compound feature which ch changes in real time based on the market and locks after subscription. FTX and Alameda Research have transferred assets worth $27.2 million as of October 31st including RNDR, SOL, ETH, MKR, REN and GRT. 
the transfer of over 106 million dollars in crypto assets including 736 million dollars in EVM assets began on October 25th and has continued to occur. The firm's recent reshuffling of cryptocurrency funds reflects its intention to liquidate certain digital assets as part of a strategy to settle outstanding debts with creditors. In 2022, Almeida covertly tapped into customer funds within FTX to repay all outstanding loans due by the summer of that year, avoiding suspicion. As of November 2022, Almeida's debt escalated to $10 billion due to its approach to repay creditors using FTX customer assets. Onyx Protocol, a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer lending platform, lost $2.1 million due to an exploit of a market with no liquidity. The hacker exploited a known bug, a rounding issue behind the compound V2 fork. The alleged liquidity-less Opepe market was abused by donating funds from other markets with liquidity, which were then redeemed using the known rounding issue. This follows a similar attack on 100 Finance on April 16th, where the attacker manipulated the exchange rate between ERC20 tokens and H tokens, allowing them to withdraw more tokens than originally deposited. To combat these hack attempts, blockchain analysis can be used, which involves six major steps – transaction tracing, address clustering, behavioral analysis, pattern recognition, regulatory vigilance and collaboration.